WPTV News anchor Michael Williams had a chance to sit down with Mayor Keith James, who is spearheading his own city's efforts on racial diversity, equity and inclusion. Here's what the mayor had to say about the photo and the recent events happening in Buffalo. Well, uh, somewhat frustrated, Michael, uh, but I do try to keep it in context. We're going backwards as a country. What we're experiencing now with, and I thought about this as I was watching the coverage of Buffalo, reminds me of the old Jim Crow days with intimidation. Violence was an intimidation. It was meant to discourage, in, the, in those days, African Americans uh, from exercising their rights uh, to, to, to government, to, to vote. And it just seems like we're going back to those days where violence is being used as a tool. It's not only against African Americans, it's against uh, Asians, it's you know, anti-Semitic uh, actions. And it's frustrating because we thought we had come so far. And you know, I remember the hope the night that Barack Obama was elected. And we thought maybe we had been beyond these days, but unfortunately we aren't. How do we stop the decline and, and, and start beginning to have rational conversations when we live in a polarized country uh, where you have a radical ideology that uh, whites are being replaced, that uh, which, which this Buffalo shooter allegedly fed upon. When, when you have things uh, big and small that we see locally, where do we begin? That, that's a very tough question because now we have platforms in place where people can seek similar ideas whether it's social media, whether it's certain cable TV stations. Um, and, and so there's no long, there's very few opportunities for cross fertilization of ideas. Uh, I, I imagine those young, and, and the other thing that's frustrating is the age that this is being manifested. I mean, an 18 year old kid picks up, decides it's okay to take a semi-automatic weapon and drive hours to a black community and shoot people? 18 years old, what do you have to be so angry about? Middle school students who are standing proudly in front of, in front of this word. So that is what's frustrating. It seems like they're, they're younger now with these ideas and, and with these hateful thoughts. And that's frustrating, but I attribute a lot of that to social media. How do we begin to change the dialogue? How do we begin to change this notion that we need to or are at each other's throats and I know it's a huge task but what would you leave our viewers with on on how we begin to do that we or have, continue to begin to do it we have to take the small steps which means we have to talk to be willing to open up and talk to people who look different from us who may think different from us whether it's at work uh, whether it's in the grocery store we just have to take the little steps because it all begins with conversation it all begins with conversation. And Mr. Mayor, in our remaining time, it would seem to me also, uh, because inevitably you'll hear people, listen, this is isolated, mental health problem. Uh, that's its own incident. You're trying to connect dots that aren't there. What do you say, again, to our viewers, and what do you say people would, would espouse that? Well, I, I would say that, 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 that that's hogwash, because now we're seeing that these ideas, these philosophies, they're costing people lives, all right? Uh, the young man who was uh, radicalized by internet sites who now decides it's okay to go to a black neighborhood with an automatic, semi-automatic weapon and shoot down people. That's costing lives. That's violence. And so we can't just poo-poo it and say it doesn't really exist. It's, it's, just, it's just ideas. No, the ideas are leading to action. And that's what's so scary about this. And of course, we have the access to guns, such easy access to guns. It, it's scary. It's scary. And that was Michael Williams and West Palm Beach Mayor Keith James.